Good morning, all you YouTubers out there. Uh, I've been a member of YouTube for well over two years, and I've never posted a video, never posted a video response. I used to initially just get on there to basically watch other people's stuff or, you know, watch programs that I missed on the TV and, you know, things like that, but... I decided to get enough courage to uh, begin a video blog. I mean, nobody really knows me out there anyways. Anyways, my name on YouTube is FunnyFace35. It's been FunnyFace35 for two years. Uh, of course, my face really isn't funny, but that's just the name that I chose because uh, it was easy to get. I didn't have to worry about anyone else having my name or or anything like that so uh just to begin uh to anyone who'd be interested in subscribing to me this blog that i want to start uh i'd like it to be interactive uh if you all could you could post plenty of comments on there uh i also would be interested in video responses uh i'm a big 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 fan of the paranormal uh I just like real life situations, things that have happened to me in my life are the things that we'll be discussing on my blog. Um, I like to cook, I like to read, I like to sing. Uh, I really like to read, but <clears throat> I don't really have much to talk about this morning. It's really, really early. It's about six in the morning. Uh, it's peaceful and quiet here, which is why I'm up doing this so early in the morning. So this is what I look like in the natural, you guys. Funny face 35 in the natural. Well, to begin, uh, the uh, block we live on, it's an old, old block, uh, and uh, my family owns one, let's see, we own one, two, three, four houses on this block. And uh, three out of the four houses were moved from other locations. Now, the house that I pretty much grew up in with my poppy, uh, it's like a downstairs and then there's an upstairs apartment. It's like a two-bedroom apartment. There's a kitchen, there's a bathroom, and there's two bedrooms and a living area as well. Huge, huge storage closet. I mean, you know, it's it's small, but it's not small. So anyways, to make a long story short, that's when I first started seeing uh, spirits or, or ghosts or whatever you may want to call it. Um... It started out where I'd be like, say I'd be in the living room, in my living area, like laying on the couch watching TV, and you know how you might go to sleep, and then uh, you might wake up maybe to turn over or something, you might open your eyes while you're sleeping, but you're really sleeping. Okay, well I would hear like dishes clanking in the kitchen. Now mind you, this is a small, small apartment. Dishes clanking in the kitchen. Uh, like someone was upstairs uh, rambling around in the refrigerator. Um, little noises like that basically is what I would hear in the beginning. And uh, I didn't really think anything of it because, you know, some nights I'd be out at the bars. So, you know, I just attribute it to maybe perhaps being sleepy or, you know, having a couple of too many glasses of wine. Uh, something of that nature. But uh, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong, you guys. So what I did was I had uh, got on the internet and I found out about smudging. And this is just a warning to you people that want to try and cleanse your house on your own because, see, the activity had gotten so active that I did try the initial smudging on my own and it calmed it down for a minute, but it came right back with a vengeance. I was uh, asleep one night, and my little sister Amy was over also. She was in my room sleeping. I gave her my bed because the spare bedroom, it was always really, really cold in there. Nobody knew why, but it'd be so fucking cold in there that, you know, 
a fucking little space heater wouldn't heat the motherfucker up. I'm telling you guys, the fucking shit was freezing. You know, even in the fucking summertime, that room was ice fucking cold, man. So anyway, to make a long story short, she was in my bed sleeping. So I was out in the living room again. Okay, well, this one particular night, nothing happened. Okay. But then she spent the night the next night. And she says, funny face. Well, that's not really my name, but we'll just leave it at that. She said, uh... Can I sleep with you? Because there's ghosts in this house. So then, you know, I'm like, she's my little sister. I didn't want to scare her or anything. So I was just like, okay, yeah, sure. You can sleep with me. You know what I'm saying? And her nickname is Apples because when she was born, she had big old cheeks like this. And uh, deep, deep, deep dimples. So we started calling her Apples. So she looked like a little cabbage patch doll. So Apples it is. So we're sleeping. She's in the living room with me because now we're in the living room because that's where the TV was. And, uh, you know, like I said, in the middle of the night, like when you're sleeping, but you're turning because you're uncomfortable. So you kind of semi wake up, but you don't. There was a fucking figure standing right the fuck over me. I bullshit you not all shadow. It looked like a tall figure. You could tell it was male and he had like a hat on. And it looked like a long coat. But I wasn't sure what it was because it was all in shadow form. So it immediately fucking freaked me out because it was the first time I'd ever fucking seen the shit before in my life. And I tried to call my grandpa. So here I am. I'm going, Grandpa Quinnis, to the top of my fucking lungs. I mean, with all that I could fight with. And I could not fucking move i bullshit you not i could not fucking move and my little sister was laying right next to me and she didn't hear any of it any of it what it took me to do in my mind was call for the blood of jesus and whatever it was that was on me got up off of me and left and from that point on you guys i bullshit you not i would fucking see the shit floating around the house like it fucking lived there too I'd be sitting in my living room and then there'd be like the hallway to the door where you could look out in the hallway from the living room and you could see the fucking thing just floating down the hall like this and then it'll fucking turn and go down the stairs and then go right into the fucking wall. What the fuck was that? Can somebody please help me understand and explain what the fuck that shit is? Please leave your video responses. Funny Face 35 signing out.